Welcome to our educational journey into the fascinating world of medical imaging. Today, we'll explore a procedure known as an angiogram. But first, let's understand why angiograms are important. Our blood vessels, much like highways in a city, transport blood throughout our bodies, ensuring all our organs receive the oxygen and nutrients they need to function. Sometimes, these blood vessels or arteries can become blocked or narrowed due to conditions like heart disease, stroke or due to the accumulation of plaque, a mixture of cholesterol, fat, and other substances. This can restrict blood flow to the heart, leading to various heart conditions. Symptoms of blocked arteries may include chest pain, shortness of breath, and fatigue. If left untreated, it can lead to severe heart problems. To diagnose and treat these issues, doctors may recommend an angiogram. The angiogram procedure starts with identifying the optimal entry point for the catheter. Most commonly used entry points are radial artery or femoral artery. A catheter a thin, flexible tube is inserted into a blood vessel, this catheter becomes the vehicle through which medical professionals navigate the arterial maze. And before the procedure, the patient is typically given a sedative to help them relax. The insertion site is cleaned. They may also receive local anesthesia at the site where the catheter will be inserted. Using X-ray guidance, the catheter is carefully threaded through the blood vessels until it reaches the area to be examined. Once the catheter is in position, the contrast dye is injected through the catheter into the bloodstream. The dye flows with the blood through the blood vessels. These dye is a contrast material that contains iodine, which is visible on X-rays, that make blood vessels visible on X-ray images or MRI machines. As the dye moves through the arteries and veins, it illuminates any areas of concern, such as blockages or narrowing in the blood vessels, providing crucial information allowing doctors to make an accurate diagnosis and plan treatment if necessary. X-ray images are taken as the dye moves through the blood vessels. These images help the doctor visualize any blockages, narrowing, or abnormalities in the blood vessels. After the necessary images are obtained, the catheter is removed, and pressure may be applied to the insertion site to prevent bleeding. The patient is typically observed for a short period to ensure there are no complications. After the procedure, the dye is eventually filtered out of the body by the kidneys and excreted in the urine. Once the angiogram is complete, doctors can analyze the images to determine the best course of action, whether it's medication, lifestyle changes, or procedures like angioplasty or stent placement to restore blood flow. And there you have it. An angiogram is a vital tool in the field of medicine, helping doctors diagnose and treat cardiovascular conditions, ensuring patients can lead healthier, 